Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel, back on the VFR 400. Today we've got a couple of things to get on with. We're back on the petrol tank, I've picked up some body filler. So I plan to fill in the dents on the tank today, sand it down, prime those areas. And then I also plan to get a base coat color on here. So I will be showing you guys in a bit roughly what my ideas for the color scheme are. So we'll try and get the base coat on today. If I can pick up the color today, I'm going to try and pick it up in a bit. Um, I've got some decals to come as well, so we won't be clear coating it yet. So once the decals go onto the base coat, then I'll be able to clear coat it. We're going to get straight onto the tank. Um, I'm going to do the filler on it now. And um, once we've, we've primed it and everything, then we're going to try and see if we can get the front brakes on the bike. So get some brakes on it and uh, hopefully we can get at least that far today. So guys this is the stuff that i'm going to be using today it's just a multi multi-purpose body filler uh it comes with the hardener here and it comes with this little spatula so i'll try and use this i haven't got a wider one but this is what we've got to deal with here so we've got this area here to do which is kind of like two dents i'll probably just blend this whole area here and uh i think there's just one little dent here in the corner um, and I think there's a tiny dent which I noticed under certain lights. You might see it here now. There's a tiny ding here. So I'll put some filler over that as well. All right, guys. So this is how I'm mixing this up. Uh, I don't have my tripod today, unfortunately. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things with one hand <laughs> so that I can just show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just going to mix this up good so it's all one color. Stuff dries quite quick, probably be like sort of like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes because it's a bit cold today. And then I should be able to sand it straight away and uh, put some more filler primer on it. Then I'm going to sand the whole tank and um, hopefully it will be good enough to paint and get the base coat on. Right, <laughs> some of that paint's mixed up in it as well. Alright, let's see if we can do this. So this this one is a bit deep, so I might have to do it in two passes. So we'll do the first one and then when I sand that down, I'll see what it looks like. little corner here I don't think there was any more places uh, I think that was pretty much it we could put a little tiny bit here Get it on thick enough, I might be able to get it all. Oops, oh dear, making a mess. I'm gonna get it on thick enough, I might be able to get it in all in one go.
All right, guys, I think I'll leave that here. I'm gonna let that dry and uh, sand it down. And then we'll see if we need to put any more. All right, guys, so on to the brakes. As I said earlier, I got the brake pads. So you can see I've put those in. And I cleaned up these springs as well. So they are all in now and all ready to go. Done both of them. I just can't seem to find the bolts that bolt these to the, uh, the forks. I can only find three of them. So for now, I'm just going to put the three in. Um, I'm probably going to have to order a set of bolts for that. Um, I've also got new ones for these where the bleed is going in. So, yep, I'm going to put these plastic caps on, dust caps. Okay, so ready to put them on. Right, so calipers are bolted in. I found the other bolt as well, so they're all good. So now all we've got to do now is connect the hoses on. This one goes on that side, just like that. And then we can break the system, bleed the system. Right, so now I need to put these in. You can see with this holding. And I've also got new copper washers as well. So we get, we put one washer. Sorry guys, I'm doing this by hand. <laughs> one hand sorry so we put one washer on like that at the top and then that goes in there like that and then grab another washer and that goes in under here actually it's the wrong side we're doing this side first and then we put one washer underneath so it looks like this and then that goes in here this down so it should be like that so I'm going to talk that down and I'll do the same thing on the other side right guys so all the brake lines are done so I had sorted out the master cylinder already as you can see as well I put in new crush washers here this is all cleaned, cleaned all these parts out internally. This is all bolted back. You can see our brake lines here going down. One down to this brake and the other one down to the other side. So all we're gonna do now is unscrew these two screws. I did put new screws in here. The old ones were rusted out. Fill this out and then we're gonna bleed the master cylinder first. Get all the air out of it. This, this the master cylinders in here and then top it back up again and then we'll start bleeding each caliper all right guys so i've filled up the master uh or the reservoir as you guys can see so i filled it up to the upper level and then what i'm going to do is just press the brake lever and then you should get some bubbles coming out of that little hole open slightly well nothing's coming out no bubbles so I'm going to assume that the master cylinder is fine there's no air in it I would have expected to see some bubbles um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to start bleeding the calipers and we'll see if anything changes we need to get this fluid to go down to the pipes so i've been struggling with this uh bleeding these brakes there so i've left it for a bit and to turn my attention back onto here so you guys can see i've flattened down the first pass on here and we've got the shape back definitely got that shape back so i just need to do a little bit more filling there now and um 
yeah, I think it should be good. This side is good as well. And also the little part of the corner here is good as well. All right, guys, so I'm giving up for this. For some reason, it just won't bleed. I, I think it's probably the master cylinder. So I'm going to order a replacement master cylinder because that's the original one that was on there. I did clean it up. It looked fine to me, but maybe it's just not give. It's just not sealing well enough. So I'm going to replace that. I'm going to have to come back to bleeding that. Back to the tank. So I have sanded this all down. Now I've gone over this about three times to get it how I wanted it. Um, I've, and I've dusted it down and I've now just cleaned it with some thinners. So I'm just going to hit some etch primer again over these metal areas. And then probably going to prime the whole thing and then paint it. So this is it. It's looking really good. So I'm gonna let this let this dry while I shoot off and go and get the paint. So I am back. I went out for a little ride and also I want to pick up that paint as well. Just before I left, um, they had delivered the um, JB Weld that I was gonna use for the petrol tank hole. So I quickly done that before I left. So I made sure myself give myself like an hour to cure it says it takes an hour to cure and then you can paint it you can sand it and all sorts of stuff i'll show you the product that i'm going to use and um, yeah i'm going to get straight into it this is the product that i used to patch up the hole you guys can see that i've already done it done it before i left um, and it's called water well this one is so it says here the strength which is quite high 4300 psi set time is 25 minutes cure time is an hour it's been off it's been more than an hour now cure colors off-white it looks off-white to me so it says you can set it uh under water and it's resistant to water oil gas diesel hydraulic fluids most chemicals so apparently it's supposed to be good for petrol tanks and a lot of people use it so i'm going to now spray the underside give it the underside a coat and then i'll let that dry and then i'll flip it over and then we'll turn our attention to the top all right guys so this is the color that i'm going to be using it is a gray color which is what i am after this is a ford an old ford color it's called polar gray um so i'm gonna i bought two cans we're gonna try it and see what it looks like and hopefully it will look like what i want it to look like yeah so um yeah i just gotta test it and see hopefully i'm happy with it so i'm gonna spray around this for now because i feel like it could set a little bit longer so Let's see. So there goes spraying around it.
There we go, guys. That's come out really nice. I actually like the color and it's looking like what I was expecting. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna flip it over and then I'll focus on getting a couple of coats on the top. Guys, so this is where we're at now. I almost forgot I had primed the mud guard as well. So I thought, why don't I give that some paint? And that's come out really nice as well. So that's one coat on there. And that took pretty much a can, almost finished, to do the whole tank and this. So I've got one more can. So I'm going to give it another coat. So I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. I'm going to give the whole thing another coat. And then we'll see what it looks like. see guys I've done a second coat on this now this one I, I wasn't 100% happy once I got it in here under the fluorescence I could still see some lines somewhere uh, sandy lines somewhere so I ended up going over it again with 400 and 800 and then I've given it a coat now it's much better now you guys can see it a bit closer up so I am going to give this another coat, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to give this another coat, which will be a second coat. I'll call it a second coat, or two and a half. This one's had two. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's looking really good. Obviously, it's going to it's gonna dull down, but this is what it will look like when it's sort of lacquered, while it's still wet. There you go guys, check it out now. So I've given it a heavier coat, that's the final coat on it. And uh, yeah, we'll let that dry and we'll see what that looks like tomorrow. All right guys. So these have dried up now, they touch dry. And as I said, they come out really good. You guys can see them close up. So there's a the mud guard, the tank as well. It's come out really, really good. 
again you guys can see it I got rid of those lines that I could see so I'm really happy I'm really glad that I went over that again as you can see it here so that is our tank done and our tank has been saved so yeah I'm gonna leave it like that for now I've got some decals coming some black Honda wings black with a silver outline um, I'm going to show you guys on the screen what sort of idea of what I'm going for it's not exactly how I want it but it's a little bit like the concept of what I want I'll show you guys on the screen now um, but yes yeah, because basically it's going to be all silver sorry all grey and it's going to have some decals and so on and then I'll clear coat everything um, that's what I'm going for so guys that is it for tonight I'm wrapping up this video hope you guys enjoyed this one and the progress unfortunately I didn't get as far as I'd like to with the brakes so I've got to um, investigate and uh, find out what's going on there but hopefully I can get those front blade, uh, brakes bled and uh, yeah then we move on to the back ones so yeah until the next video guys thanks for watching please subscribe and we'll see you soon take care Go and pray.